Hello. I'm making a video on my Hackintosh. I've recently purchased a board um, for $29 from MSY. It is <coughs> an ASRock H61M VG3. Um, I think it's quite an old board. Um, it's about this big. It's the smallest board I've ever bought. Um, it's a bit bigger than a sliced bread. <laughs> um, it doesn't have too much. It doesn't have too many um, ports, but I don't really care to to be honest. It's got four USB 2.0 ports. Um, sort of glad I don't have 3.0 ports. I uh, don't really need them to be honest. Uh, they're not very. They don't work too well with Hackintosh sometimes, and it's just a bit of headache that you don't need. Um, this board actually worked out of the box. I didn't have to um, change anything. Um, not 100% sure about that. Like there was a option on there for um, VTD, which is like a virtualization thing in Majiggy that Hackintosh doesn't like very much. Um, it gives you the option of disabling that, which is great. I didn't have that on previous boards, the newer boards, the Z68 and the Z77 boards. They didn't have that. They only had um, uh, uh, enable virtualization something technology, which isn't what it's affecting the Hackintosh, it's the actual VTD and this board had it on the BIOS option which was great um, everything works really well I couldn't believe it, I put my 650Ti boost um, graphics card onto it um, my C920 webcam works very well um, about this Mac uh, I had 12 gigs of RAM, but I couldn't, this has only got two um, slots for RAM, so two. I could probably put two 8 gig ones on there to make 16 if I wanted. But to be honest, I don't need I don't need that many RAM. 8 gigs is more than enough. This is the board itself. It's got two PCI slots. Um, I put my Wi-Fi card on one the top one and then I put my graphics card on the bottom one um, as you can see it's got four USB 2.0 one Ethernet and an ALC 622 um, audio codec I think it is um, I'm not, I wasn't too fast with the DVI out it's only got VGA out but I didn't really have any problems with VGA out. I had VGA out from my graphics card and from the motherboard and um, Mountain Lion 10.8.5 picked it up very well. Um, also with that thing on the BIOS with VTD 10.8.5 and Maverick they give a lot of trouble with KCM error whatever it is. Uh, because you don't have an option of disabling it in the BIOS and even if you put the um, boot flag DART equals zero it still gives me some uh, still still gives me that error sometimes um, but in this board it was really good I, I just disabled and no problems boot up is in like less than I think 10 seconds or something like it's really quick <coughs> um, it's only got four SATA ports, uh, SATA switches or whatever you want to call them. It's only a very small board. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, darling. Okay. Mm. Picks up my graphics card very well. I got the description as an iMac 
And yeah, there isn't much else. There's my Ethernet. Um, gonna have a Bluetooth on there. There's my camera. And yeah, that's it. I just thought I'd show you my 10.8.5 Macintosh running on the ASRock H61M VG3. It's an extremely, extremely small motherboard, which I bought for $29. It was on sale at MSY. Ooh. Um, so yeah, these are the specifications. I couldn't, I couldn't get the. Um, I had a look on Tony Mac, and I could not find my board. No one else used this particular board. There's the H61 HVS uh, MHVS. A lot of people have used that, or the U3S3, I think. But yeah, the uh, HVS, a lot of people have used that, but no one's used my board, which I couldn't find um, any info on. With MultiBeast, um, it didn't give me the option for ALC662. Um, perhaps it's because it's a very old board. Uh, so, but I did a bit of googling and I downloaded, um, where was that, oh, I've downloaded it from somewhere, here, that's new 10.8.5 ALC662 fully working from Alcon, something Alton, here, yeah, Kemal, Kemal Alcon from Gaziantep in Turkey, thank you very much for the audio. If it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't have audio on this board right now. Um, thank you for your texts. And yeah, that's it. Everything works, as far as I know. And I hope you enjoyed the video.